Hey guys, welcome to Samco Workshop. Jason here today. We're going to give you a crash course on 4 Auto and why it is such a beautiful thing. Okay, 4, four Auto is not a replacement for four-wheel drive. It is an ex, an, a, uh, it is a whole separate system that offers a tremendous benefit, uh, especially for people when you're, it's not really used for off-road. 4, four Auto is not an off-road type scenario, but it is so valuable. So what is the difference? Well, let's look down here real quick while we have this. In a true four-wheel drive system, we are going to have something that's going to be called a transfer case right here. Okay, what that's going to do is that is going to, when you engage that, whether it's a button on your dash, a knob you turn, or a lever that you pull, it is going to lock up this center transfer case, and it is going to now send equal power. We're going to call it, let's call it, some of them are different, but let's call it 60, 40, or let's call it 50, 50. Okay, it's going to put some sort of a hard all-time drive on these front wheels. It is going to take the torque from the power of the motor, transfer it through this transfer case, and it's going to spin these wheels at about, let, let's just call it 50. Okay, we're just going to call it, we're just going to keep it simple terms. We're going to call it 50-50, but when you engage actual four-wheel drive high, you are going to get 50% of power in the back and 50% of power in the front, and all wheels are going to be spinning. Now, there is some variations in there with lockers and things like that. Where we've, I've done many videos on those. I will link them at the end for you to understand because there is a reality of slippage and uh, torque uh, applied to there. And the slipping wheel gets the maximum amount of torque and there's variables. So there's reasons that we can also lock up this axle here so that it is locked to this one. Uh, or in my Jeep, I can lock this axle to this axle. So there's things that we can do in here that are even better but in a standard four-wheel drive high or four-wheel drive low, we have this connection point in here that is going to lock the rears with the fronts. These two become locked together right here and right here, and you are getting 50% here and 50% here in a nutshell. Simple version, okay? Which So they are equally, you have your power. That is not always good to be driving it. It is going to rob you of gas mileage. It is constantly putting all that you, you don't need this on the pavement. There's no reason for this. Also, when you're in four wheel drive, turns get very difficult. When you turn a wheel, so let's say, for example, let me uh, let me do that, um, put it in here. But if another version of this, so if we have a car here again, okay, but now we got our front wheels turned on this angle, like this, okay, there's a lot of binding that happens in these axles in here, okay, and then your rear ones. You get this same effect, but when you are locked up in here and you have your axles connected with that center diff, you get a lot of weird binding and jerking and stuff like that on pavement. And four-wheel drive on pavement is not very turn-friendly. The reason for that is basically because of the fact that we have an open differential. Our wheels need to turn at different speeds. This wheel is going to turn at a different speed than what this wheel is gonna okay and so there's more rotations on a wheel there than there is on this one so you got all these variables that come into play that make driving on pavement and hard packed ground very difficult in four wheel drive four wheel drive real four wheel like four high four low is designed to be used in slippery conditions all the time you don't want to drive in it Okay, well, what about those times when we're going down the road in the highway in the wintertime and we got, um, you know, you got sections of snow and ice for 100 yards and it's uh, 100 yards of pavement. Then it's more snow and ice and then it's 200 yards of pavement, that kind of thing. Or if you're driving and it's just right at that temperature, you're coming home on a Saturday night from being out with your friends in the winter and it's it's been raining, but now there's a little bit of ice forming, these kind of scenarios, things that we deal with all the time when we're driving um, on on ra on pavement, okay. We hit these kind of conditions constantly. Or if you're going out, you're on the highway and you're going through the mountains, like out west, <clears throat> you go up over those passes. You start hitting these snowy stretches of road on the highway. These kind of things. Uh, you're driving, you hit a little snow squall, and now the road's got snow on there. These are places where four auto is amazing, okay. And also full time four wheel drive, like four high. And even four low, especially four low, but even four high, it requires you to pay attention to know how to use it, when to use it. You want to limit your speed with it. Um, you don't want to be doing 75 miles an hour in four high. Okay, it's just not good for it. But also, you got these issues with turning. Trying to try to turn into a tight parking spot in four high. Good luck. The thing go. Uh, 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 uh. It'll be a miserable experience. So four high 
Conforlo, dedicated, true, locked up four wheel drive systems with the transfer case in, 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 er, engaged, those are used for off road. That is all off road stuff. But many people don't buy a four wheel drive vehicle for off road, they buy a four wheel drive vehicle for security on road in bad conditions. That is where 4 Auto shines. So that's what we want to have. Now, more and more companies are starting to give you this. Like uh, the Colorado, the new 2024 Colorado, 4 Auto. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, Jeep also, even a Jeep, the most amazing, capable off-road vehicle ever made uh, with some of the best four-wheel drive, dedicated four-wheel drive systems out there. Also, some of their vehicles they offer, um, even in a Wrangler, some of the trim levels they offer, 4 Auto. Okay, 4 Auto is a beautiful, beautiful thing because it works differently than what this system does. Think of it as four-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive low, transfer case engagements, all that stuff. Think of that as off-road use only. Okay, 4 Auto. 4 Auto does it different, so you, you are not going to engage a center locker. We are not going to do that. We don't have to do nothing. You put it in 4 Auto and let it go, and what is going to happen when you do that is it is in two-wheel drive, okay? So these two are spinning all the time, just like you normally would if you were in too, too high, okay, or two-wheel drive. But there is either a clutch system or a uh, viscous coupling, something of that level, which uses fluid to quickly transfer. It's very, very fast. Both systems work great. There's clutch systems, and there is a viscous coupling, which is, like I said, super quick connections through the pressurized fluid. Think of it almost like hydraulics. Usually it's a silicone, but something similar to that that works. But basically what happens is as soon as... So we know that the rear wheels are doing the drive on this, okay? So we got rear wheels that are actually pushing the vehicle forward all the time. The second one of these wheels senses any kind of slippage in the computer, it slips a little bit. When that slips, these two immediately kick in and the coupling is locked. Instant, almost it's Now it's not quite instant. There's some tire slippage. But so you're driving down the road... On the highway, you hit a little snowy patch, all of a sudden you feel that little run in the car. Okay, and, and when we're in two-wheel drive, we feel it like, whoa, whoa, you know, you're bringing the wheel back, and you're oh, and you're doing this kind of stuff, and you're, you feel it jerking you, and you're kind of, whoo, it's getting slippery out. Okay, well, with four auto, you, that is none of that. Okay, four auto, you're driving, and it senses that wheel slip, it automatically, boom, kicks the front wheels in, and now the front wheels are doing a job. Until it senses that it's past there, no more slippage, it will disengage those clutches or reduce that viscous coupling and allow you to go right back to two-wheel drive. So it's basically computer controlled and mechanical with the clutches and the viscous coupling, but it is a system that as soon as it senses any slippage back here, it immediately engages these for you. It can do that at higher speeds. It doesn't interfere with your turning. <coughs> it doesn't give you fits when you're doing that stuff. Basically, like we said, four-wheel drive system, four high, four low. This is off-road only. Four auto, that is a button that you turn on as soon as the temperature, You like if you live in up north where, you know, cold temperatures from, say, you know, from, say, December all the way through March, you put it in four auto and you leave it there all winter long. You never take it out of 4 Auto unless you're going into one of these off-road. But you put it in 4 Auto and you leave it there and you drive every day like nobody's business, no big deal. And your vehicle acts like it's in two, it is in two-wheel drive all the time until it senses an issue. When it senses an issue, it kicks in a version of a four-wheel drive that is going to keep you straight, keep you on track, give you the traction you need, and provide what you're looking for. So 4 Auto is a beautiful system. 4 Auto is not very good off-road. Okay, will it help on dirt roads and some fire roads and things like that? Yes, it's not a bad system. But when you get off-road, that's when you want to kick into your dedicated four-wheel drive systems. 4 High, um, 4 Low, get the transfer cases engaged, get these things working, and use them like you're supposed to. But on the highway, 4 Auto is pure genius okay um and it is a beautiful thing you know when we had it with my wife we left that in four auto all winter long living in northern michigan in her truck it was just on and i i made it that way on purpose we put it on she left it there and it worked and if we had a lot of snow on our subdivision road it chewed right through it and got her through there she didn't have to worry about learning how to go into four high how to engage anything she and then disengage it when she got to the pavement none of that kind of stuff 
Put in four auto. Let it just do its thing. And it works fantastic. Here's another scenario. You don't, you're don't. you out driving and it's, you, know, you live in the snow areas or things like that. Or We'll give you two variations. But you live on a, uh, in a snow area and the roads are pretty clear. But some of the parking lots still got a little bit. You get that build up of snow from where the plow pushes it in. And now you got to drive through that and you're ready to pull out into traffic. But there's snow there and you're built up on it. A lot of times... We would have to kick into four wheel drive with our trucks knowing that. We're like, okay, we got to get out of here. So we got to kick it into four high. We got to plow through that snow, making a turn on pavement then after we get through it. We're on pavement in four high, making a tight turn, dun, 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 feeling a chunking and a, the fighting that, um, that, that system there that you're dealing with with the t different tire speed rotation. And then, you, you know, and you get out. And then once you get out and you get going straight, you got to then kick it back into four or into uh, two high was a process we had to do all the time, okay? With 4 Auto, no. You pull up to that in the parking lot to the stop sign, you got a little snow mound there, you're fine. You look, you, when your traffic's clear, you go. As soon as you start to go and it feels those back wheels slip, boom, it kicks in the front ones, it pulls you right through, it turns the corner, it gets going, and it turns it off when it doesn't need it. 4 Auto is pure, beautiful system. Um, another time it's great too, people that run the beaches, okay? I'm down here in the south now, everybody runs the beaches. Four-wheel drive on a beach is pretty mandatory in most places, but if your wife or your spouse or your kids or somebody doesn't know how to run this stuff, goes to those beaches, you put it in four auto. If it starts to give them any issues, they start slipping a little bit, those front wheels will kick in and stop them from dropping in um, and sinking down. As soon as it senses that wheel slip, it's going to keep pulling them through. It engages those front wheels. So four auto... It's probably one of the best inventions in four-wheel drive vehicles that's ever been out there that nobody really thinks about. Okay, they're like, oh, I don't need that. Four Auto. Four Auto is a convenience and a safety feature that I personally believe that every four-wheel drive vehicle should have automatically. I, I believe in it. I don't own it in one of my vehicles currently right now. Do I miss it? Yeah, it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. Do I wish I could get it again? Yes. Do I love that Colorado Chevys put it in all of their Colorados like that? I do. I think it is a brilliant, brilliant setup. And uh, But I want you to know how it works and what it does. It is completely different. When you off-road, use your four-wheel drive off-road systems, your dedicated four-wheel drive systems. But when you're on the road in the winter times or in those crappy kind of conditions, um, even heavy, heavy rains where you're getting a lot of hydroplaning and puddling on the water and you're getting kind of white knuckle driving with that stuff, for auto, okay, it gives you all that extra traction when it's needed. If something were to happen and those rear wheels kick out on you um, or something happens, it is going to save you. So it is a beautiful system. There you go. little insight on what it does and how it works. Thanks for watching.